Hello and welcome to Model Kit Begin. Hope you guys doing well. I'm certainly doing well. It's a cold and wet day in Cape Town. And we love cold and wet days because we need the rain. Right, but today we're going to have a look at uh, something which I promised myself I will never buy again. And that is uh, this uh, Volkswagen T1 camper. Built a couple of those and uh, it's always a fiddly story and I will tell you in a minute why. But in the meantime, I couldn't stop myself and bought it. Here it is, Volkswagen T1 camper. You see it's a what they call a level 5 kit. You see that it is uh, 1 to 24. We go on the sides, there's nothing special on the sides. On the back, and we'll have a look at that down at the bench a little bit better, you can see there are different building stages and some text which we're going to have a look at right now. Now, I love these uh, bullies, I really do. That's what they are called, they're called uh, bullies uh, around the world. But uh, there's one thing which I never, and I'm actually looking it right up as we speak, Volkswagen T1. I always thought the T1, yeah, it is, it is the T1. It has a T1, T2, T3, you know, different forms of transporters, and that is the Volkswagen T1, which means the first iteration of these kind of Volkswagen little delivery vans. You've got them in all kinds of... Uh, all kinds of uh, life situations you had one the camper was the one which was probably least produced because it was a very niche kind of market but you had a normal transporter with a single cab you had a crew cab transporter which was very very popular I remember when I was young every every builder every carpenter every, all of them had a, a Volkswagen transporter in some other form with a crew cab you know if you have to take your men to a building site that was the one to have it's basically uh, you know a a German 70s pickup 60s pickup which was there as was used as that pickup truck never kind of uh, caught on in in Central Europe and that was basically the pickup truck they used you also got them as school buses or you know normal transporter for hospitals or for a uh, retirement homes you know this then uh, find them on airports to uh, drive around the cruise we, we will have a look at one of those in a minute as well once we look at the history anyway I love them round forms they have lots of windows you get a 21 window 23 window difference being the little windows at the back corner when they have these round windows at the back corner it's a 23 window otherwise it's a 21 window oh you only get them as a delivery van and then it only had uh, the side window and the windshield which uh, had the split windshield with the safari window which popped open like that which was uh, quite something that was the air conditioning of the day here in central europe well i say here in central europe that's where i grew up here where i am right now is obviously more southern africa anyway let's have a look at the history of this uh, interesting kit and once we have done that we obviously pop down to the bench and look what is in the box and uh, i'm not accelerating when i say it's quite a bit as here 189 parts and it certainly is around about 18 centimeters in length Right, so I'll see you at Scalemates and we have a look at the history. Right, and here we are. There is the Volkswagen T1 Camper. That's the kit we are going to have a look at. This one was a re-release of a whole string of kits. Very popular kit for Rebel. Lots of uh, re-releases, nearly as much as Hasegawa, I must tell you. Really went for it. And uh, as you can see down here, a whole row of uh, Volkswagen. Even if you look at the whole history, might even be more 
apparently, but I don't think that it came from the monogram kits. They are the Hasegawa kits. So these are just all the Volkswagens you will get, but it's not necessarily come from the same molds. These are the Revell molds. The first one coming out in 2008 looked a little bit like this. This is the classic 23 window, as I explained. So they have the windows here at the back, the curved windows. You got them without the curved windows, which were then the 21 window and the Safari windows in front. And that basically was the base kit for everything which came thereafter. This was the first one I had a go in building. <laughs> and I mucked it up. I want to get myself another one again and uh, and do it again. Anyway, yeah, I'll tell you in a minute what was the problem. Now, this one doesn't say how many parts it has, interestingly enough. This one says 167, and as we have seen on ours, we have 189. So the, the camper part um, takes up a couple of extra parts, which we will see in a minute. The next one I built was the Jägermeister. That was a little bit easier and I knew what I was in for. Less windows as well. Windows are always my nemesis. And uh, and I remember those and I love the Jägermeister logo. Always did. So I, we had a go at that one. That one I still have around here. Then I did the Samba bus. Uh, that one I have uh, also around. Actually, I think I've reboxed it and uh, going to have another go at it. But yeah, that's that's the one uh, which I had as well. The flower power bus with 169 parts. Then you have, you know, if you don't have all those windows, parts count comes down quite a bit. 124 for the Otka. I never built that one, never had that one. Would love to have it because I remember those days when these buses were around. Love it. The non-chrome Volkswagen sign. Very humble van. And then uh, the the newest one around apparently will be a model set of this one, which is a kit which was repopped in 2021. What model set means, I'm not quite sure if it is the colors and glue included or whatever. Anyway, so that apparently is coming out in future. It says here 2022. Well, that has come and gone. So let's see when that comes out. But we are probably, uh, not probably for sure, having a look at the camper. Lovely, lovely bus. And uh, if it is also a lovely kit, as we have seen since 2008, they have repopped that many, many, many a time. So let's see what it looks inside the box. And I'll see you down at the bench. Here we go, guys, the Revell uh, T1 Camper, as we have just seen it. As I promised, we'll have a quick look on the back side of the box. You see that right over here. Now we have a little bit of the building process over here. We have the finished model, which can look like this. You see some of the sprues right over here. Here down there, it gives you an idea of the materials. Here are the color codes. Shall I go a bit closer so you can... Uh, where am I? Here we go. So you can freeze frame that and have a look what colors we use. Obviously, Revell colors. We know Revell color callouts. Always an adventure, isn't it? And uh, then it gives you a little bit uh, about the history of the camper, what it's about, what it's all about, where does it come from, etc., etc. Right. So you go up here. Here we go. A bit more space here at the bottom. There we go. That's much better. And. Uh, Let's have a look what's in the box. Now, this is the Revell Europe box, and I'm not a fan. Never been a fan of the Revell Euro box. They are flimsy. They don't mean anything. I hate them. And uh, normally repack everything into a different box, or I uh, plug the box up and make it a lit opening box, but I would love to have the picture here in front to put up here in the hut. So I will probably repack this. So let's just get everything. Oh, camera, camera. Let's get everything out of here. Is it empty? Yes, it is. Right. We have the instruction sheet. We just leave that here. We have a lots, lots, lots of plastic. So let's make some space here for the plastic. Ooh, just popped up. Of my keycaps, we know on that. We have tires, we have chrome, obviously, more plastic. We have glass, 
Oh, transparent parts, more plastic, plastic and gray and white, all kinds of colors, more gray and more clear parts. Yeah, <laughs> there's no shortage of that. Right, but I think maybe to start with, let's have a quick look at the uh, instruction sheet because the instruction sheet obviously will give us a pretty good idea what we have self let ourselves in for. Uh, yeah, great, we actually have instructions on the internet. Oh yeah, in the instructions there is more instructions and a whole decal sheet, look at that. Yeah, we have a look at that obviously as well. Right, just waiting for the instructions to load. These obviously is what it looks like, what is in, in your box pretty cool but i thought we gonna we gonna uh, maybe get our yeah let me just get let's do that yeah here, here we are so instruction sheet is right over here uh, much easier for you to show it to you right over here let's just to zoom out a little bit here here we go here we go here we go though that should do it Right, and you see uh, the first page. Here it gives you a little bit security text here, how to build a model. Very, very nice. So I would not recommend this to a beginner, but here we are. Tells you what all the legends of all the markings in the instructions. Revel does a very good job of that. Then the weakest point is obviously always the color callouts. Why, Revel, why? Why would you have the color callouts? I think so you have to flip forwards, backwards. It's also not. Uh, it's also not the same. It, it differs from kit to kit. So what's 99 here might be 55 in another rival kit, and might be 27 in another rival. So it is a bit frustrating. So what I normally do, I'll take this online thing, put it on a computer, on a computer screen somewhere around me, and then I don't need to flip forwards and backwards. Anyway, all the colors, as you can see, quite a few. Then you have the sprues, where you can check if you have all the sprues. It also blinks out all the parts which you do not need. Very important, obviously, because uh, since it is a repopped kit, a multiple repop kit, it obviously uh, you obviously don't want to have uh, wonder what all those parts are about. You can see here that you're not necessarily need them and then they start out with the engine and the wheels which is an unusual way to start up and that's what they do engine exhaust um, uh, base plate they're doing the uh, suspension on the base plate right over here um, the uh, uh, handbrake and gear lever seats uh, front seats anyway cabin seats then the extra floor which they put in and uh, all the parts, side parts, etc. PP, which go into the kit. Now, here we go. You see uh, the wall, which puts uh, the front from the back. And then we have here all the camper minutiae, wooden stuff right over here. We have, uh, look at that. We have different kinds of uh, curtains right over here and this is obviously the absolute nightmare of a rebel kit this particular one not every rebel kit this particular one that you don't have a body as such but you have to assemble the body from parts um, the assembling is nothing but you obviously have to paint it and uh, that is always the stuff of legends you don't like that is uh, where you get it wrong so i what i normally try to do and that has worked out with my latest builds better is I try to assemble part of the body in advance and once I've done that then I paint that on the inside and outside yeah here you do it on the inside and then you obviously close all the windows and they paint so it's, it's quite a bit of work to get this painted up in a way that it makes sense to you but once you have done it very very pleasing here you have more furniture as you want so the dashboard steering wheel 
obviously it's all very simple affair door inside panels the roof with the cut a special camper cutout you know, the normal model normally had a cloth roof which you could push open or close this had the special camper roof which uh, then uh, had the little extra hood which you could lift up then we have a look at the windows, 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 many windows, many windows, and you have a choice of windows. We'll have a look at that in a minute as well. You have a roof carriers right over here. Beautiful, I love that, love the detail. And uh, then the, normally you can choose between European and American kind of style uh, bumpers. Right over here we have the uh, wipers. Here you have then the complete view, here you go of the camper and you obviously can build it with this roof section up or down so that's up to you and that's about it so that is the instruction sheet pretty pretty cool i think anyway so but from the instruction sheet let's have a look at the uh, decal sheet and here it is let's put it that way around and maybe let's just go a little bit closer here. Here we go. Right, now, you can see the curtains. You can have the curtains like that, or you can paint them yourself. Frames of windows, I would assume, or it is for the furniture. Volkswagen sign right over here. These are seat covers. This goes um, onto the dashboard right over here we have um, instruments dashboards instruments quite a few of these silver rings i can't remember there even is a radio look at that there looks like a more of a speaker decal what decal is that and uh, then we have engine markings right over here and then you have uh, as they always come obviously westfalia westfalia was the company who uh, Volkswagen teamed up with to uh, do the camper. So they help with exact the inside workings of the camper, as well as the roof uh, adaptions. And then you have uh, obviously registration plates from all over Europe, from uh, Germany, Italy, France, Great Britain. And these are new ones, old style ones, Netherlands, Austria, we have Ireland, we have Sweden, we have the United States and Belgium. All here, so you can obviously go to town on this and you will have some left for future builds if you would like to use those for that. I have quite a few in my spare box of those. Then uh, let's have a quick look at the tires. Uh, obviously there we are not known for their huge tires. You don't want this engine to pull a car with huge tires. This engine can't pull anything, to be quite honest. And here we are. They are not branded. Not at all. Get out of the way so you can focus on the tire. Here we are. That looks pretty much like pulley tires. As I say, not branded. Soft enough to get them over the rims. Trust me on that. I've done it before. It works. And these are the rather unspectacular tires needs a little bit of cleanup and then you're ready to go then we have windows lots of windows now i've never seen this one i know this one this uh, is uh, all the windows for the normal 23 window bus front windows back windows side windows here are the curved windows which makes the 23 window all those windows, uh, rear lights, it's all in here. Now, what is special on uh, the camper version is that you also have these. So you have the windows which are slatted, so which you can open and close, which is very, very nice. I like that a lot. I guess I'm going to use those. And uh, some special side windows as well. So that's pretty cool. Quite a few windows, and you will have quite a bit spare as well. Pretty cool. Then the crow. Let's have a quick look at the crow. Right. Big bag, half full. We have the Volkswagen emblem right over here, and that obviously you can use like that 
as a chrome emblem or you can paint it that's up to you you have the uh, the light cups light hubs right over here wheel cups wheel covers right over here and assortment of mirrors and handles rear light uh, base plate right over there so uh, yeah that's the chrome there wasn't a huge amount of chrome on this it was more used as a utilitarian vehicle it wasn't a flashy vehicle so chrome was not um, you know trowled on by the tough load which makes it very appealing and uh, that's all there is as far as chrome is concerned then obviously we get to the um, plastic and we start with this rather smallish uh, gray plastic right over here and here we go we have the dashboard right over here why should we not go a little bit closer again you can do it come on Roland that should do it right now you can see the dashboard right over here the uh, different consoles these are engine parts and rear suspension this is a firewall such as it is and obviously this mighty uh, engine which I would think went up to 52 horsepower if you have the strongest version it could be as low as 26 or 27 um, axles uh, steering mechanisms and these uh, parts for example you will not need on the camper that's on the normal bus the railings uh, right underneath the winter the windows I cannot see those being installed in the camper I would be surprised if they find a spot there and I didn't see that in the instructions either then we have the two different types of of uh, bumpers which I have told you already about um, we have the sun visors right over here some other parts suspension parts again uh, these parts these are for benches which uh, is for the normal bus and uh, not quite sure if that gets used in the camper probably not we have steering wheel right over here and here parts for the wheel construction then let's have a look at this now i can see here already that there will be quite a few parts which probably will not be used in the camper so you will end up with loads of spare parts now all the interior of the normal uh, bus even the bench bus you know when you drive around people i don't think you use many of these if at all this is the a split um, console if you want so between the driver compartment and the camper compartment this is the center console for the roof this is part of the exhaust these benches might not be used probably not here you have the uh, handbrake and the gear lever and the parts look quite clean even though know, this has been repopped a couple of times looks pretty good so if you need more benches for another bus or you have mucked up some of the benches well you here you have some spare parts and on this side we have obviously the pan which is needed that looks exactly how i remember it and these are the driver and uh, Kind of a 60 40 seat arrangement driver and passenger seats for the cabin in front cockpit if you want some and then we go change color to white for a little bit so we had gray we had beige now we have white white plastic right over here we have the pan the inside pan which gets uh, on top of the uh, of the bottom construction which we have just seen it another uh, separator between the uh, passenger and the driver side so we have uh, choices there uh, the other one looks very standard this is probably for the camper another um, bumper set and these are camper sets i tell you that in europe that's what they look like is that for white wall tires possibly and as i said the pan right over here next one is side panel right over here very interesting no window here 
Hmm. And uh, there's another. That's more what I see here. That's more for the van as such. But these are the doors. They also don't have windows. I don't see cut out windows as well. So maybe there are some other side parts coming up. Here are the normal driver doors and the front part spare wheel rim right over here. So let's see, maybe there's more coming as far as this is concerned. Otherwise, I am a little bit confused. Let me tell you, it doesn't take much. Right. <laughs> and more parts which look very much duplicates of parts which we have seen, well, some of them anyway. Here we go, there's another separator here, so we have lots of those. Here are the curtains, love those, love those. There's another bottom plate, and I think that's the camper bottom plate because this is where all the furniture then gets attached to. This as well goes on the inside, little cupboards and fridges, and that is another separator so we will use one of those and the rest will all be spare parts so as you can see lots and lots of spare parts around here and here we are already i would reckon in the interior of the this specific little kit we have a couple of frames and x brackets right over here which i'm sure goes somewhere we have another small one here with a another covered side another frame another x bracket very very interesting we have here we go look we have the uh, it's a pity they don't have the wood separate so you will have to you know paint metal and wood onto this pretty cool we can do that i didn't see decals for the wood which is probably for the better no there aren't any right and then this is all interior for the camper itself i'm pretty sure this looks like the bench so you really you don't look use these other benches we have just seen at all very cool very nice like that a lot and uh yeah you can go to town on to them ladies and i will and then we have last but not least this package over here which let's open this up So here we have that special roof for the camper. As this the center console goes in, which we have talked about earlier, that obviously where this extended roof piece comes on. Here we have another rear window. <laughs> Looks different from, a little different from the one which we have seen already, so as assumed. Yeah, so it has its extra sides with windows right over here. It has the doors with windows right over here. Pretty cool. So you could theoretically build a normal transporter with these with all the parts included and not do a camper which obviously what's what's the use i mean you bought the camper that's obviously what you want you want to build the camper but as you can see this is where the windows camper windows as we know them are in perfect 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 so this is where you can put your slated windows in you know which opens like uh, butterfly windows and these are the special parts. So loads and loads of spare parts in here, for sure, for sure. And that, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, here we go. As I say, I'm not gonna use this box again. Just put it to one side to use some of the pictures. But that was the Volkswagen T1 Camper. And I tell you what, lots of parts in here looks like an exciting little build it really does uh, should have lots of fun with that i'm sure we will um let's let's go upstairs quickly have some last words and uh, then we are out of here see you in a minute right so here we are that was a brief look at the Volkswagen T1 camper. 
loads and loads of parts, loads of parts which you can put into the spare uh, box and uh, good parts which can go into the spare box and can be reused. Loads of loads of windows. I think there's a whole window bag which I'm not going to touch so that's quite interesting and uh, obviously if you are kind of a Volkswagen T1 fan I think it's a must buy. If you're a Westfalia fan it's a must buy. I think they're doing quite well on this particular kit. Um, they're doing quite well on the whole range of the T1 buses, I'm pretty sure, which is the reason they repop them every five months. But this particular uh, iteration, I'm sure, is selling quite well, and there's a good reason for that. It's very detailed, and uh, you can really go to town onto these. So if you are into this kind of Kemper, Westphalia, Volkswagen, T1 buses, 60s kind of van, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer you go for that. Well, thanks very much for popping in. Uh, remember, I have a Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description. Have a look at that. And uh, greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.